So, the question tells us that the joint probability between A, B and C can be expressed in this manner. And now, it also asks us what's the minimum number of parameters we re require to be able to describe this probability distribution, specifically on the right-hand side, as that's a simplified version of the left-hand side if we compare to the product rule. We are also told that these three variables, A, B and C, are binary variables. So we can think of them as variables which can only hold two states. For the sake of example, let's say those two states are 0 and 1. Now, the question might be a little confusing if you haven't answered questions of this form before. So let's start a little simpler than the actual question being asked. On the left hand side here we'll consider some distributions and the right hand side will specify the minimum number of parameters we require to define that distribution. Let's consider this distribution, probability of A. Once again we are complete, only assuming binary random variables. So how many parameters do we need to, dis to describe probability distribution of A? The answer is quite straightforwardly one. But if that's not obvious to you, let's spell it out. We can say the probability of A being the binary value 0 is some parameter value alpha. Okay? And the probability of A equals 1 is consequently 1 minus alpha because we know that the probability of A equals 0 plus the probability of A equals 1 must be a value of 1 because that covers the whole sample space of this binary random variable. Now looking at these two expressions we can immediately see that we only required one parameter to specify this distribution and in this case we call this parameter the parameter alpha. Let's consider another distribution. The probability of A and B. Now the number of parameters you might have already guessed is three that are required to define this joint distribution. But let's see why. So we can say the probability of A being 0 and B being 0 is alpha. A being 0, B being 1 is beta. A being 1, B being 0 is gamma. And for A being 1 and B being 1, because we know all the probabilities must sum to 1, we can just simply do 1 minus alpha plus beta plus gamma. So, we only require three parameters to describe this two um, binary joint distribution, alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, now, by a method extrapolation, it's pretty obvious that the number of parameters we require for the joint probability of A, B, and C will be 2 cubed minus 1, which is just 7. Okay. Now let's consider the given probabilities. How many parameters do we require to specify the given probability of probability of A given B? So we have the situation, so the answer is 2, but let's see why. The probability of A being 0, given B being 0, we can say is alpha, which means A being 1 given B equals 0 is 1 minus alpha. Similarly, we can say um, consider the scenario where the given case B has a value of 1. So now A being 0, B being 1 has a probability of beta, and A being 1, B being 1 is simply 1 minus that. So we can see quite clearly once again that we have only two unique parameters that are required to define this given probability. Now we have all the fundamentals we require to actually answer the question being asked. So let's break it down. We're trying to find the number of parameters we require for the probability of A given B multiplied by probability of B given C multiplied by probability of C. We can consider each of these three probabilities in isolation because they are in a sense not linked to one another here. So we require two um, for probability of A given B as we can see from the bottom of our table and similar argument applies to probability of B given C and from the top of our table we can see the probability of C will only require one parameter so in total we can expect five param parameters